Hello and welcome to my MailChimp newsletter tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to create a newsletter in MailChimp. It's pretty easy to do and you can follow along with me. So the first thing, once you're on your main dashboard, there's going to be a create button like up around here. That's where I am. And we have some of the most popular things that you can do. Given the fact we're going to be creating newsletters or emails, what we want to do is click right here on design email under regular email. All right, so let's walk you through step by step everything that we have here. Right here we have the name. So we can just do here, say newsletter. This for an example is just gonna be like a software, obviously with my channel, or maybe not so obviously, I demo and I tutorial and review a lot of different software tools. So in this example, I'm just gonna be sending out an email based upon some of the newer software tools that I've reviewed or tutorialed lately, okay? So this is just gonna be for the three specific recipients in this, just as an example. Uh, from, I'm going to keep. You can always change that around if you click on edit from. What you can do is type in a new one, and if it's something you haven't used yet, you just have to verify it, but given the fact that's already there, I'm gonna stick with that, click on save. So what's the subject line for this email? Let's do add subject. And here's the cool thing, I went to chat GPT and I had it create one for me. It even came with a nice little subject line, so I'm gonna copy this here. Okay, and as it says, a great subject line gives your audience a reason to open your email. So space is limited. So for this, it recommends doing a little bit less. So we could just do like essential, Okay, so I made it a little bit shorter and it's checking off some of the boxes here. And preview is going to be what they see after this. Like sometimes when you go in your inbox, you'll see this and you'll see a little bit more. So this could be a little bit of a snippet to maybe entice them. So based upon what I have here, all right, so this I just put, check out some of the latest and greatest software tutorials, dot, dot, dot. Of course, you could always use some emojis if you wanna do that here. So let's just say we're going here. I'm gonna click on this. Is there one for software? I don't think so. Maybe something more of say like rocket. There we go. Use that in business a lot in terms of like business growth, right? So we are good there. Let's click here and save. In case you wanted to use some emojis, that's gonna be how. Send time, obviously we can change around send time. If you wanna schedule a time, you can do that, but I'm just gonna keep it as now. Let's just say you have one, it's gonna be ready to go. And once you create it, you wanna fire it off. So I'm just gonna go with send now. Of course, this is gonna be where if you wanted to schedule it, you can do that. So now we have pretty much the last part. It's pretty simple when you go down to these specific steps. Let's design our email for our MailChimp newsletter. Let's click right here. All right, so now that we have arrived here, there's gonna be some purposes in case there's something like specific tailored to what you wanna do. You can go by your industry too if you want, and of course style, but for this, I actually just wanna start from scratch. If you see something that you really like here, you know, go with it, because what you can always do, this is what I always talk about with when it comes to templates. Templates allow you to get up and running so much easier. So if you see something that you really like, all you'd really have to do is say edit out maybe the color, the title, and obviously the text, leaving you with a lot less to do. But for this specific example, I'm gonna show you how to start from scratch. So if you do wanna edit things and keep it simple, you'll be able to do that. For example, this is a really good one because it's minimal. I love minimal ones. I think the less pictures, the better, but I'll show you how to add them in case you wanna. Let's start from scratch this for this specific example, apply. Okay, so I already have my logo right here. In case you wanted to change that, what you can do here is go to replace logo. Okay, so we have all of our sections here. What we're gonna be doing is dragging and dropping. So for example, say we have a paragraph, we're gonna drag that right here. And as we have it, so hi there, fellow digital marketer. What I'm gonna do is just start copying and pasting some of this in here. This is kind of less about what's gonna be written here and more so about like how to actually put it into it, okay? So I'm gonna do that, and what I'm gonna do is hit uh, space a couple times just to make it look a little better. Great, so the next thing you'll notice, we have our divider bars here, and they do have those here as well. So if we have a divider, wanna make it look nice, we can go there. What we can also do is change around the thickness if you wanna do solid or like dotted. I think dotted looks pretty cool, right? Uh, padding, the line color, I think that looks just fine, right? So once again, we're gonna go over to the paragraph section and we're gonna go with the next one. So there is actually a little headline here. If you wanted to add that in, let's just say we wanted to delete this. Let's go back, we have a heading. Let's drop that in there. Okay, let's copy this title and let's paste it in. So maybe this is a little bit too big for us. What we can do is just highlight it and we have the font size right here. So I'm gonna make it so it fits in one line. I think that looks fine, right? And centered looks good as well. So now we can go back to the paragraph. So let's drop that in there. And what we can do is I'm just gonna copy all this. I'm not really too worried about what it says. You know, this is just for example purposes. So I'm gonna type that in there. 
And some of it's gonna be mashed up as you're gonna notice, like this is gonna be at the top. What I also wanna do is just select everything. So you can do Control A or just drag it right here. And I'm gonna move it to the left. I think it looks better as opposed to having it be centered like that. And once again, if we look back over here, just kind of get a look at the formatting. There's like a space, not really here, but I think it looks better. So I can do bold here, I can space this. And then we have the main steps. I'm gonna bold that as well. Okay, those are gonna be there. And of course we have the last section. So by MailChimp and we're gonna bold that. Just in my opinion, I think it's a little easier on the eyes. There we go, delete it so it's not as big. And, you know, and I can maybe do another one right here just to make it look better. So that's gonna be that section, say for MailChimp. All right, so here's the cool thing. Say we have that, like this is gonna be the tutorial. Now what we can also do is just put that video in there. So I'm gonna drag and drop this video under there. And what I'm gonna do is quickly get the YouTube URL for this. Give me one moment. All right, so I actually forgot that the uh, the video that I talked about isn't uploaded yet. It, it's being scheduled, it's not live. So I'm just gonna put a different one here as a placeholder. Obviously use the specific one that you'd want. You can put it in there and obviously if you wanna use a different image for this, but I'm gonna use the source thumbnail as you can see here. Uh, and that looks pretty good. So what you can do is you have your specific say, this is gonna be the tutorial, what it's gonna be all about. Then you can have someone watch it there if you want. Now here's another cool thing. So let's say we were talking about this, they can watch it here. What they can also do, let's say we put a button here and for our button, let's just say it goes to, all right, so let's just say this goes to MailChimp, of course, we have it centered, we have the shape in case you wanna play around with that. Let's make it a little bit bigger, that looks fine. Uh, border's gonna be two, and now we have the button color. Probably wanna make it pop a little bit more, like that doesn't look too bad, like that definitely sticks out, right? Uh, really up to you what you wanna do there, I'm not gonna go too crazy, I will keep that green. And just like that, we now have a button. We can change around the text too. Let's do that. So double click there. Click here to try MailChimp, okay? Like I said, despite the fact this is Shopify, this is just obviously gonna be a video placeholder where we can use one that's going to be similar to this. And what we can do from here is just to keep repeating the process, okay? So we would have our divider and I'm not gonna go through and like do everything here, but I'm just gonna do one more. Let's say we paste this in here. So let's drag over our text box, or we have our heading first. Let's go back over. So this is Wix. I'm gonna paste this in here. Once again, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I just like having it fit on one line. I think it looks a little better. Just an aesthetics thing. And now we can go back to our text. So this is the email I'm using, business as usual. This is all gonna be moved to the left gonna move this up and you'll notice like once you get a hang of it this is mostly just about repeating the steps <laughs> ironically enough we have some steps right here I like bolding this just to kind of give a easier on the eyes where they can follow through if you want to skim through you can see like what's the big deal here what's the benefits why this why that and of course as we did before we can get our video we can drag drag and drop it down there and I can actually get the actual video this time let me do that all right, so let's add in the URL here. And as you can see, there's gonna be the specific um, video for Wix. If you wanna add a alt text, so describe the video's preview image, I think that's gonna be fine the way it is. And we can go back. And that's just gonna be a repeating of the process. So this is a section here I'm gonna delete. Okay, let's just say we wanted to end it up. I'm gonna put a border there. And what I'm gonna do is just do a paragraph. And I believe at the end, there was like a sign off here. There we go gonna copy that actually put this in twice and just I like putting everything on the left side you know you don't have to do that like I said a lot of this is basically going to be distilled down to what do you think looks best for you maybe you have a specific style and uh, we can italicize this and we're gonna be good to go so that's gonna be what it looks like in terms of creating a newsletter of course if you want to get rid of this you can do that you can replace it it's really up to you or just delete it and then of course we have the beginning of this and uh, I'll show you how to add links as well. I did show you how to add a button, but let's just say we wanted to do this, follow our step-by-step -step tutorial. What we can do is go right here, and I'm just gonna paste in this URL, the same one to the YouTube video. So that is not the YouTube video. Let me get that link again, one sec. Uh, it's actually right here, so I'll do this. I'm gonna copy this. Don't need to go back to YouTube. So what they can do is actually click here to go straight to YouTube or they can watch it down below. It's up to you, but if you wanna add a link, that's gonna be how it's done, okay? And you'll notice how it's black. I would probably change the color of this by highlighting it and say like blue. 
Now it actually looks like a link, so it's clickable, right? But anyway, that's going to be how you can not only add a link, but change the color. Something I recommend because you saw before, it just looks like black text with an underline. A lot of people aren't going to click on it, but a lot of people know what a link looks like when they see the blue. Uh, you can send a test, you can preview, you can also, what you can do is you can change as a template, save as a template. Saving as a template is going to be very helpful in case you do a lot of newsletters. What I'd recommend is, you know, going with something that you'd use over and over where you have this here, right? And then you have your headlines where all you have to do is pretty much change around the text. You know, you can keep your outro, maybe add in some other things. Let's click on preview. All right, so we have desktop here. Looks pretty good if you ask me. Very similar to what we were looking at here, right? We have mobile. Okay, so if someone is on a mobile phone, videos are going to be a little bit smaller, but that's completely fine. Of course, we have the link there to MailChimp. We have this one to the tutorial. And if you want to do inbox, that's going to be a feature where you'd have to upgrade. But nevertheless, that looks pretty good. Let's click on X. Let's do save and exit. All right, and we're pretty much done. If we scroll down, there's gonna be a few other things you can do, but in my opinion, I think it's going to be good. Tracking and opens and clicks is fantastic. I wouldn't go with tracking the plain text links. It says track links in the plain text version of your email by replacing all links with tracking URLs. Uh, I think it's completely fine how it is. There's gonna be a few other things where if you want to add them in, say like e-commerce or Google Analytics, if you have that, but those are gonna be extra beneficial things you can do if needed. But I think as long as you have the opens and clicks, you're going to be good there. Last thing we need to do is simply click on the send button and that's pretty much going to be it. So that's going to be the MailChimp newsletter tutorial. I hope this helps you out when it comes to creating a newsletter in MailChimp, formatting it, setting it up, and then going from there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you, but that should do it. My name is James. I hope you got some value out of this video and I will see you in my next one.